So we're here in uh, Mexico, and that's because uh, in Arizona it's illegal to cut the saguaro trees, and that's the saguaro cactus behind us. You know, that's the state tree of Arizona, and it's like the totem of the Sonoran Desert. Everybody thinks cactus, and they think of the saguaro. And this is a relatively young one here, probably about 75 years old, maybe 100 years old. They can live to be a couple hundred years old. Um, you know, in a dry place like this, when they start putting off those first arms, you know, eventually they get that real distinctive saguaro cactus arm look. That's when they're about 50 to 75, maybe even 100 years, depending on how dry the climate is. Here it's pretty dry, so that tree's probably around 100 years old, um, weighing in the multiple tons. You know, it's a really unique plant. You can see that accordion shape that it has. Inside of those are long kind of wooden poles almost. And what those are designed to do is expand and contract when it rains. So it puts out a root structure that's very close to the surface and spreads out about 50 feet so that it can catch rain just as it hits the surface. And that's its strategy for staying alive. It doesn't do particularly well when it's very windy and sometimes they'll fall over. Um, what's most interesting about the saguaro, actually, you know, one of the interesting things in the summertime, it puts off a fruit that might be the most delicious fruit in the world. And I was able to get some wild fruits here um, given to me by somebody who did some harvesting themselves. But one of the things I like about this tree is that it's a psychoactive plant. And that's something most people don't know. Um, it has some unique alkaloids. Uh, unlike the other cactuses, which are mescaline based, it has some unique alkaloids and is very psychoactive. It's also very bitter and you can't consume very much. Sometimes in the Sonoran, you'll go up to some of the older trees and you'll see places where they're scarred from being cut, maybe even hundreds of years ago by the shamans who were gathering it then as a psychoactive and sacred plant medicine. And I'm gonna harvest a little bit of this one. Again, we're in Mexico because you can't harvest this in Arizona. Um, but come along and I'll show you uh, how I harvest and what the medicinal part of the plant actually is. So you can see how well this tree is protecting itself. It's very difficult to get in at the flesh, but I've been popping off these spiny areas here. And what I'm gonna do is just remove a piece of that accordion. And all I'm doing is getting my knife up underneath those and kind of popping them away. You wanna be really careful, those will stick right into you. And if you've ever had uh, a good penetration from a cactus, <laughs> You know how dangerous they can be. I'm just gonna harvest enough medicine for myself and my friends to enjoy some of the magic of this desert tree. So the Arizona state tree is a psychoactive plant. Here's how it works. The inner flesh is bitter, but nothing's as bitter as this dark green inner bark right here. So this section where it's dark, dark green is where the richest alkaloids are, and it's very bitter. It doesn't take consuming very much of that before it starts to come on and you feel the effects of it. Uh, so you want to be gentle and slow with that if you want to choose to take self-responsibility with a plant like this. Remember always to think, it's a very sacred tree and it lives a long time and so we want to harvest sustainably um, and we want to kind of keep this private.